Rogers Cup here presented by National Bank. We're live in Toronto. It's another victory lap, and it's the first time we've gotten the hot seat. Alina Spitalina, congratulations. Three sets today. Hot and humid out there, but I think it's actually your seventh win in a row here in Toronto, having come back as our champion in 2017. How did that victory feel today? Yeah, it was, uh, was a good win for me. I tried to fight my way back because uh, Katrina was playing uh, extremely well. Um, it was a very tough battle and uh, in the end, you know, I was very happy I could serve it out. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite a uh, quite good match. Alina played today against Katarina Siniakova, who's obviously one of the best doubles players in the world. She's really good in singles too. After that second set, when she worked her way back into the match, what did you feel like you had to recalibrate to play your best tennis in the third? I think I just have to, I had to fight, I had to wait for my chances. I played her a couple of times and uh, I think it was just important for me to, to put one extra ball over the net, try to, uh, try to let her uh, move and uh, go for wide shots, which was, I think, important for me. And in the end, uh, I was happy to break her, her and 4-3 in the third set and then uh, serve it out, which was very, very important for me. Great win today. Obviously, next up you'll play Belinda Bencic, who you've played a couple times before. She's a really tough player who gets a lot of balls back. I'm going to guess that you'll be ready for a lot of baseline play in that game. Yeah, definitely. We played uh, uh, this year in Dubai. It was a very tough battle. And uh, uh, for me, I will just try to focus on what I have to do on court, try to recover from this uh, tough match. She also had a uh, three-set battle. So it's going to be an interesting match and uh, definitely the one uh, I'm going to look forward to. Do you and your coach, your coach obviously by Andrew Bettles, who you've been with for a while, do you and Andy look back at what happened in Dubai this year, 7-6 in the third set, really close? Or do you just see it as a, a new, fresh chapter against Belinda? Well, definitely, uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at that match, yeah. and uh, he will uh, give me a few few tips about it. But uh, not so much, I would say, because it's a, it's a different tournament, a different little bit conditions. The ball are not flying as much as in Dubai, and uh, I think it's just another match where I will just try to play my best and try to fight really hard to, to get the opportunity to win the match. Okay, so I mentioned that winning streak here. I think maybe it's six matches in a row. Whatever it is, you're really good in Toronto. She's our champion in 2017 and Rogers Cup was last year. What do you love about these conditions? It seems like your game really lends well to these courts and the conditions here in Toronto. Well, it's uh, it's not easy to play here, but uh, I try to to work really hard with my feet around the ball because the ball are uh, bouncing really high and uh, the courts are new. That's why it's uh, the bounce is is high and uh, you have to to move around to to get the, at the best position. So that's why uh, you know it's for me it was the key so far. Uh, Belinda also played some uh, great matches before. She's uh, also won here. Yeah, you're the last so two champions. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting match, and they'll just try to to focus on my game and what I have to do on the court. Wimbledon semifinals for Alina Svitolina. It was your first time in a Grand Slam semifinal. What did you learn from that? Obviously, getting into the semis was huge, and then I think maybe didn't find your best tennis on that day. Yeah, it's it was amazing week actually. You know, I uh, never really uh, dreamed to to play a semifinal, my first semifinal actually on a Grand Slam, and didn't expect that it would be there. Uh, I was just trying to enjoy. It's uh, it was a really tough match for me, but uh, I think Simona played unbelievable, and uh, throughout the tournament she was playing some amazing tennis yeah. and was getting lots of lots of balls back and was very aggressive. So you know, all the credit for her, she really deserved that title. And uh, for me, it's just the positives. I try to take um, I try to take each match as a step forward and learn something and try to improve my game. Okay, so now you're into the summer hard court season. We know that you love the hard courts a lot, but what did you do after Wimbledon? I think you were home in Ukraine a bit. There was maybe a film festival, the opera, you got to hang out by the sea. How much is that rejuvenating to be home and just take a deep breath after what's been a really busy first half of the season? Yeah, I had some uh, holidays at home. Deserved uh, holidays. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in the end, yes, uh, with the semifinal, because before I was a bit struggling with my injuries. So uh, I took some time off. It was really important. I think for any athlete, it's important to take time and uh, just uh, see where you are with your game, with your um, physical conditions, and then, you know, start working again uh, for the second part of the season. And uh, I think it's uh, it's very enjoyable because there is a pressure for the um, to, to make uh, finals yeah. or to play in Zuhai as well. So um, 
It's uh, just uh, try to to enjoy the work, the hard work that you that you you wanna you wanna put, and uh, I think this is uh, this is tennis, and you have to be ready for it. You mentioned those injuries. Do you feel like the body's healthy now into the second half of the season? Well, I'm getting there. It's still uh, still a little bit of issues here and sure. there, but it's uh, it's normal for all the athletes. You know, we are struggling a little bit. You know, you have to have to try to recover as quick as possible, and this is, I think, the goal for everyone for each tournament. Okay, tennis fans obviously know Gem's life very well on Instagram, but I want to ask you, Gail Monfils, your boyfriend, how good of a practice partner is he? Because he was your practice partner for some of the lead up here to Toronto. Yeah, he was actually helping me a lot, <laughs> and uh, while he was uh, recovering from his uh, ankle sur um, ankle injury, he yep. was uh, he was helping me a lot, and uh, it's it's very nice of him to to give me some tips, and uh, he's very energized on the court. Uh, I'm very focused, but you know the energy all comes from him. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, lots of fun to to practice together, and um, you no, know, hopefully for beneficial for him too. Yeah, and it's really cool. I think we've seen across the tour a lot of men hitting with women, obviously the two of you dating, but it's great to have a practice partner built in as someone in your life. And I'm going to guess that you're the one that's usually trying to keep him focused on the practice court. <laughs> Well, he actually, he's very, very serious. Uh, you know, this time uh, when we start training before um, <laughs> before the U.S. Um, hardcore season, yeah. he was very serious. He was taking, you know, his coaching uh, very serious. So I was very surprised. And, uh, um, yeah, it was uh, very enjoyable, and we really enjoyed our time on court. And uh, I think it's um, to, to do it uh, together, it's uh, very enjoyable. Okay, lastly, what I want to ask you, of all those things that you got to do after Wimbledon, home in Ukraine, relaxing, what's the one favorite thing that you got to do before coming to Toronto? I think it was, um, it was my uh, crabs from my grandmother. Um, it was actually very nice because she cooked for us and my mom as well. We Amazing. had uh, we had a big table with lots of uh, Ukrainian food, and uh, Gael actually also tried a little bit Did of Ukrainian like? food. Well, some of the things he liked. <laughs> <laughs> He's very picky, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, he really enjoyed uh, he really enjoyed uh, our time, and I was very happy to bring him there. Awesome. Well, Elena Svitolina is our 2017 champion here. I'm going to give her a high five because <laughs> she's moving on to the third round, and we'll be back here on Facebook with more victory laps here moving forward.